you have a Shopify store, I'm going to show you nine ways you can really easily tweak that checkout page to increase conversion rates and get more sales in. Now, some of these are going to be really small and simple, just text changes that you might not even know exist, but it's these small things that make it much more obvious to the user and drives up those conversion rates. For me, everything should be about making that checkout as smooth as possible. And that's what we're going to do in this video. But the most important thing is none of them are going to need a developer. You can change all of these in the back end of Shopify. So let's dive in. So for this video, I thought it was nice and easy just to set up a basic version of Shopify so I could show you how their checkout works. I've just inserted the fake product in here so we have something to work from. Now there's main two things that we want to really start with here is if you're going to have that express checkout on, which I would 100% recommend, this is generally what the page will look like. But what we found is there's certain parts and certain demographics that don't quite realize that the option is either put my information in here or continue down and I can buy with just my credit card. And the issue really for that is that you have this express checkout term and you also have this or. So to certain people, they don't realize that actually I can still proceed and buy with just putting my card information in. So the first tip is gonna be changing this information here and also this information here. But how do we find that? Let's dig into the back end. So where you're gonna go is you're gonna to go to online store on the left-hand side. It will straight away take you into themes and then you're gonna head over here to where the three dots are and right next to the customize button, you're gonna hover down here and you're gonna hit edit default theme. Now you will see that this is actually a change from 2024. There was a lot of videos in the past you've probably seen online that had this in the language section and that's no longer the case. So this is where we now need to go. You'll be able to then check into checkout area and then rather than trying to figure them out down here, I always end up going to the search. If I just flip back over here, this or is gonna be if you type in or start to type in alternative, you'll see that these options then appear. So we can change the word express checkout if you want to, and we can also change the word all. So if I was to change that as an example to all continue with a credit card, it's a little bit clearer to the user what that means. We can also change this if we wanted to as well. So you could say something like in a rush, if I could spell in a rush, check out instantly here and for example let's just save that we'll flick back over here i'll refresh that page and it's now in a rush check out instantly here with our two buttons or continue with a credit card again you can tweak that language because i've said here here do we want to say here we put a semicolon in do we want to put a semicolon in you know we can tailor that as much as we like again i'll save that out flick back across and it's just a lot clearer now. Now, actually, the reason we first found this is we had a company that sold leather jackets, but they sold leather jackets to a slightly older demographic, like 50 plus. And there was some major confusion around what these buttons were. And they had lots of phone calls and emails saying like, I don't have Shop Pay or Apple Pay or Google Pay. So like, how do I pay? And it was one of those things that we don't have a lot of control over Shopify. So we ended up making this change and it instantly fixed the problem. So that's really good for you to hopefully take into account. Now, the next one that I want to go into is step two is actually this is the standard approach here where you have this information and you basically have three pages that the user has to go through but you might want to simplify this down and you might want to change this to a one pager so how do we do that well let's dig in so for this you're going to head to settings down in the left hand side corner you're then going to head to checkout and you're then going to hit customize and you'll then be taken to this page and what is quite nice is it it does like a preview of it puts all your information in, puts some fake information in so you can see it as well now on this left hand side you've got a menu and you can scroll down that and what you'll see on here is if i click into here is there's two actually different options about how i can have that checkout i can have a three page checkout version which is the very traditional version or the one page version which is actually now recommended and for most demographics it's probably the better one so if you are still seeing the three page version you need to click into here click the one page one and then you can save it refresh the page and you'll see i've now got a one page version so i've now got i've still got my nice language in there that we've already changed but for now it's a lot clearer to the user, it removes those kind of concerns that we have on there. So that's kind of a couple of different options that we've got here. And those are really the nice ones to have. And the other thing to bear in mind with all of these items is you can change these items of text and you can actually change the text up here as well. For me, I wouldn't necessarily want to change too much of these, but these are potential options that we could have on here. Now, I would always say with any split testing, we want to always split test which version is best. So try the single page checkout. And if you don't think that's converting as highly as it could, maybe do change to the three page checkout and see if this one works for you as well. 
you can see you've then got options on here. Now the big benefit of this one is there's more information for us to be able to change. I say a big benefit, maybe we're making it more complicated to the user, but it's worth testing. Some people prefer to go through this slightly longer process, especially a slightly older demographic. So continuing to shipping can now be an option you will have on there as well. And you'll see we then flick back to this version, but then now might be options where we want to tweak some of this language. So it says on continue to payment, do we want to change what some of that is? So I'm going to show you how to do some of this. So you'll go back to our trusty page with the theme content that we had already and you'll just type in the word payment and you'll see option here it says continue to payment methods so we can then change that language if we wanted to to whatever we want it to be so in this example it might be to move to step two and enter card details as an example if i then flip back to here Again, probably a little bit long for, for a button, but it gives you an indication of what was on there. So the next one we're going to look at is making this page feel a little bit more credible and make it feel a little bit branded. Because unless you're paying for Shopify Plus, where you get access to a lot more, there's not a lot of flexibility that we have to this page. We still want it to feel fairly branded, though. There's some more that we can do. So if I head back to here, uh, which I showed you how to get to before, you'll see along this left-hand side, there's all these different options that we can insert in here. Now there's two potential approaches that we can take and I kind of want to introduce you to both of them. One option is on the left hand side, you can have that in there, you can then choose how big that is and it gives you a preview of how that might look. So we can make that way bigger, looks a little bit strange but you could do. You can move it to the left hand side, you can move it to the right, you can also choose where that happens. So for example, you can have it over on the right hand side, you can have it in the checkout area. My personal recommendation is to probably have it up in the main area here and then you've got a little bit more control of what you might want to do with the banner. Now, one thing to take into account is it allows you to control the width of the image that you put in there. So actually, if you put something really wide that you've designed to be wide but purposely narrow, it will purposely take up more space without increasing that vertical space. And the reason that's important is we could actually have a little bit more information in here. So if we wanted to go in somewhere and design a nice looking more horizontal banner. So as an example, I've just uploaded this one that says big sale. You can see that that's now a little bit larger. It allows us to go a little bit larger with it if we wanted to, but it's not taking up as much vertical space. So if we wanted to have our logo featured with maybe some credibility builders, maybe some five-star reviews next to it, that would feel really credible and it would look really nice as well. And that's a nice way to be able to do it. So that's one thing to kind of take into account. You can swap in background imagery. Personally, I would avoid this. So this is one thing to bear in mind that on this page, we want to keep it as clean as possible. And although you'd be very tempted to start adding background imagery and background colors to make it look very on theme, what we're gonna do is we're gonna distract away from what the main purpose of this page is. The main purpose of this page is to get someone to put their information in, keep it simple. So I would say, yeah, add a logo in, maybe add a little bit of credibility builders next to it if we can get away with it, if you can get someone to design that up. But please don't start adding loads of colors and you'll see what I mean if I start to kind of drop in some reds and you know some other kind of colors in here as it looks really bright and garish. And that's not really what we're going for. I would personally want to keep this page really simple in its overall style. So that's definitely something to bear in mind as well. Keep this really, really clean. Don't worry about too many additional colors if we can help it. So we also want to have a think about what the thank you page is because actually when someone's just purchased from you there might be something that we can do to really i guess push them somewhere else can we get them involved with something can we do a little bit more customer service to maybe reference some of our products so let's have a little think about that so the first thing we'll probably need to do is we need to head back to our checkout to edit this to do that you're going to go to your checkout here and again again you'll go to your customize now at the top here you can click on that and you can go to your thank you page and what you'll see here is that I've actually just been playing around with this to be able to show you, but it says your order is confirmed and then it just randomly says that, which is obviously not very useful. I've just put a web address in here. So what you'll do is you'll go to your theme content again, and this time you're gonna type in thank you. And if you're a little bit unsure, because there are quite a few that pop up here, another item you can do if you're a little bit unsure is you can type in the information that's in there. So I, for example, have already typed this in, so I'm just gonna cheat by doing this. The normal information would say you'll receive a confirmation email with your order soon if i save that back just for ease and then you can see what that looks like you have to go back to this preview editor because otherwise you have to purchase something so please bear that in mind another tip when you're trying to edit anything and you'll see it says here you'll receive a confirmation email now, there's a lot more that we can do with that information so do we want to reference maybe a particular offer like hey thank you for your order 
just so you know if you order now within the next you know day or two why not use this voucher to get an additional 20 percent off your second purchase with us or you might want to push them to a particular web address or do you want to push them to something else that might be of use to you there's lots of additional things that this can be really used for and a lot of people overlook the thank you page i really don't want you to do that so please bear that in mind same thing with you can add imagery and you can add in logos you can add background colors personally keep it really simple don't worry about those ones too much it's a really really nice way just to give the user a little something extra after they purchase from you and actually we might get a second purchase which would be even better now, one of the last ones that I want us to then consider is building credibility at all times is really, really key. So one of the things is just this micro content that we might have. So it's things like this, all transactions are secure and encrypted. It's like, okay, great. Let's maybe see if we can add to that. So if I again go to here, easiest thing to then find the information is take the text that you want to edit. And if you just put that in here, it says that all transactions are secure and encrypted. And we can then edit that if we wanted to. And whether that's going to say for your peace of mind or transactions are secure and encrypted again you can kind of add and tweak this but the main thing is there's a lot more flexibility especially if you're working with a slightly older demographic that might have some concerns we can make sure they feel really comfortable so you'll see here it then says for your peace of mind all transactions are secure and encrypted so it's little items like that that we can just tweak on this micro content to make sure people feel really really comfortable and these things really get overlooked because people just presume there's these limitations of what we can do with the checkout so i really do hope from this point of view that you've got a really good understanding of those checkout items how you can edit them how the micro content can make a big difference and we've actually ended up covering a little bit more than those nine items and that's it now these changes might seem really small but they will massively increase conversion rate so please do try them tweak them and see what difference you can make now if it's later on if it's 2025 2026 that you're watching this video and the settings have moved around leave a comment and i'll tell you what, if there's any changes that you've found and i'll tell you where to now find those updates as well and youtube is also saying that this video over here where we did a case study to show how we increased the site by 79 percent in conversion rate is worth you checking out we'll speak soon bye